So I've grabbed a couple of the ISOs that I mentioned a while ago and one that's more modern. Oh, gaming live distro or whatever. And so basically this first one, I, I found these so that I could go more in depth with them and actually show kind of what they looked like rather than taking a guess. And finding one of these was a bit harder being as the website was basically pulled down. So this first one, Ultimate Edition, was the easier one to find because the website's still up and Ultimate Edition is still a maintained distro, except for the gamer edition of it, I don't think is quite kept up to date. I, it might be automatically done, but this was basically the first one that I ran into as like a full live DVD gaming distro that had a bunch of games packed into it. And it was basically the first one that I had actually used because I was using Ultimate Edition at the time as my daily driver distro. So I've actually got a Kemu script set up to actually run it as well. So we can actually go in and look at what it looks like. And it's always had a fancy boot splash which is kind of cool and it's changed over like each different version has had a new theme and yeah it's ridiculous once we get into it it's gonna take a second one notable thing about ultimate edition is it was based on ubuntu i think it might be best based on debian now but i'm not sure so it used to be called Ubuntu Ultimate Edition. Then there were some, oh, whatever trademarking stuff that caused some issue with it. And so it was renamed to just plain old Ultimate Edition and removed the Ubuntu trademarking. Yeah, and it's got sounds to start off with. It's had a cursors for quite a bit too. Like I said, it's got like a whole ton of themes. And I... How do I full screen this sucker again? Roll Alt F. Heh. There we go. Look at that, so janky. So, comes with some basic accessories, of course, and then education, because it's got some children's games on here. We will look at the games later. Actually, can I change the display? Sixteen hundred by nine hundred. I guess that works. Fourteen forty by nine hundred. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay. Okay, so we've got. Let's see. Oh, Ventoy for your chatting neat or no wait no USB boot tool. Der. Sorry. Um. I'm going to leave it like, yeah, okay. Yeah, that'll be, I think, better for our display purposes. Um, see, office, not much. Multimedia, so you've got some basic stuff because gaming, you're watching videos probably. Web browser, it does come with the Steam free into it. So this latest version was after Steam like started on Linux. So it did come with like the Steam setup to c do with it, which all modern gaming distros now come with. Um, I'm still scared of our big list of games, but there's like a huge list for like every genre pretty much in the open source 
games and all, including Frets on Fire, which I've covered before. So you've got roguelikes, you've got your board games, puzzle games, chess, of course, because that's a classic that shows up everywhere. Your solitaire type games, tanks, go, free civ. Hello? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Breakout. Um, hedge Wars. Oh, I want to say this one comes with... Oh, where's the W? Arcade games, chess games. Blah, blah. Have that. Oh, and then there was another one, Spring, which is basically like an RTS built off of Total... Inspired by Total Annihilation. It's a whole RTS engine. So you've got the lobby for that. Um, Sop with... Yeah, there's just like too many to go over in here. Quadrupostal, your classic Tetris clone that's open source. Uh, what was that one? Open to... Let's try... Go with Q. That's the wrong kind of cube. Darn. Led me astray, buddy. So here's our web browser. I want to say it's Firefox. Yeah. Ooh, it's in... Yeah, see, this is how old it is. Oh, no. Quit Firefox. Whatever shall we do? Oh, and you'll notice that the bar has, like, your usage stats, too, because that's important, of course, for gaming. Okay. Are you going to break on me? No? Okay. So let's actually go look at the appearance settings. This doesn't have... Oh, yeah, that's right. It doesn't have all the themes installed because it saved a bunch of space for... Oh. The games, so you could pack more games rather than have it taken up by themes. So it's only got, like, the latest color schemes and whatnot in it that the man has ever done for his systems. But he's had a bunch of, like, dark-style themes for the longest time in Ultimate Edition. So let's actually try and open up Enigma. Try and break the VM while we're here. I want something that will make it break. Bolt. Okay. Generic board game. Oh. Gonna be disappointed. Oh, here we go, Warmex. This game has not been in development for quite a while, but with the aquarium, game mode, whatever. Yeah, so you can see, I don't know, might be harder to tell, but you've got basically all of, a bunch of like your major open source, um, yeah. Oops. Yeah. And so it's got a bunch of 
yeah, names based on projects. But yeah. Shut down. That is Ultimate Edition. Gamers edition of Ultimate Edition. Like I said, it's basically packed with a bunch of applications. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that, and it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in Discord, Gilded, XMPP, and check out my, my streaming stuff. Links are all in the description places and I will see you guys later.